For practice at self-check 3.9 parameter mystery soda, you're asked what output is produced by the following program. We have a class right here, then we have a main method, and we have a, another method right here. So we need to find the output with, of these method calls right here. First method call, we have coke soda and pop as parameters basically what this means is we are passing in pop because that's what's stored in coke and then we are passing in the string pepsi and then we are lastly passing in the string coke actually um coke should be in the middle right here because we have coke which is storing pop, so pop gets stored in the first one, and then we have soda, which stores coke, and then we have pop, which stores Pepsi. So that will be everything that is stored and passed into our method. We can now look at what the output will be. So we will have um, say we're given say, and then a space, and then soda. Well, soda stores the middle string passed in, which is coke. And then we are printing out not, and then what's stored in pop, which is the last thing, so Pepsi. And then we are printing out or, because that's what's given to us and then we are putting the string that's stored in coke which is pop so this is the string that we are putting or this is the string that will be printed when we call our first method when we do our first method call now if we look at the next part where we have pop pepsi and pepsi so we'll have Pepsi, and then Pepsi, Pepsi, and Pepsi stores soda. So we'll have soda here and here. So in this next line of output, we will have say, and then what's stored in soda. And soda is the middle one. So we'll have soda, not, and then what is stored in pop, which is soda or and then what's stored in coke which is pepsi here now we are looking at our next line and we are given the string pop so this is automatically going to be passed in then we have pop which stores the string pepsi and then lastly we are given kool-aid to be passed in so in our output, we will have say, and then what's stored in soda, which is Pepsi, and then not, and then what's stored in pop, which is Kool-Aid, and then or, and lastly, what's stored in Coke, which is pop. We have one more line of output, and it is say, and the string stored in say is actually not a string so we're calling the say right here and it stores the string that's stored in pop and the string stored in pop is right here it's Pepsi so say is equal to the string Pepsi and then we are given say and then we are um, storing or passing through the string that's stored in pop which is Pepsi so our line of output is going to be say and then the string stored in soda which is our middle one which is say and then not and the string stored in pop which is Pepsi or and then the string stored in coke which is Pepsi so this will be the output for our 
practice-it 3.9. This is how we would write our output into practice-it, and as seen, we will pass all of the tests.